and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. My name is Kasha and today I'm going to be feeding all of my betta fish. Exactly 31 fish. Not all of them are mine. A lot of them are babies that I've bred that I keep in these temporary setups before they are being sold to prevent them from fighting. That I do water changes on every day to every other day. There is an exception of this female right here that has kind of struggling with a tail and slight swim bladder issue, so she is in a lower water tannin filled little container for now because it's easier for her to swim up to the surface to get breaths of air. And then I made this little temporary home for one of the male bettas that is going to be going to Primetime Aquatics. So another YouTube channel that you should follow, Jason. His wife is gonna get this guy and he's, cause he's giving me a bunch of cichlids. So it's fair, you know, that we swap fish and I give him fish since he gave me fish. So we've got all of these guys here. These are predominantly uh, my pet fish. Uh, there are also some of them I use for breeding, but I consider all of them pets really. So let's get their frozen food. This is my freezer. And as you can see, I've got a ton of frozen food right here. I actually have some frozen live um, larvae that I could thaw out too, which is kind of cool. They stay alive. Oh, hi banana. They stay alive even when they're frozen for a certain extent. But we've got a ton of food. I love feeding fish frozen food. So today we're going to do some blood worms. So I got some blood worms. I'm going to put in the cup to thaw. And then for some of these smaller bettas, I think... I'm going to do some, do, 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 do. what is this, this is brine shrimp, yes, we'll do some frozen brine shrimp from some of the smaller ones, so we'll just put both of these in this cup to thaw. Here is what it looks like, this cup still has some Daphnia that's stuck to it from last time I was feeding the fish, but this will set out to thaw, I use this little pipette to kind of measure out and get the food out, so it's going to thaw pretty quickly, and then once it's thawed, we're going to feed the fish. Anything they don't eat that's left over, I'm going to feed to my other fish because, as you can see, I've got a ton of other fish. And I have a banana, my rainbow banana, and my mess that's out here. Hello, rainbow banana. So it's been a minute. As you can see, everything is almost predominantly thawed mix it around so I can already start feeding the fish and since we're over here I guess we'll start off with these guys so what I'll do and usually when I feed these guys sometimes I'll add um, vitamins to the food as well and then let it sit longer but today we're just gonna get to the point so I'm just gonna get some of this food right here it's in my little pipette Hello, get this guy a little excited, and there we go, he's got some food, and he's gonna eat, nom nom nom, happy fish, focus, and then his little neighbor, oh you're shy, I'm sorry, did I scare you with the camera, there's gonna be food up here, oh she's looking at his food, I should have carded you guys, usually I card them when they feed them, see everyone else is carded? But I didn't card them earlier to flare. Come on, up here. I'll give her this much and then I'll come back. Oh, like, this might be a male though, actually. And then I'll give this one more. Oh, no, you're eating. I can give you a little more. Here we go. I'll come back. I'll see how you're doing, how well you eat all your food. Next is the male I'm considering on keeping. He, he's, he's kind of got too much black but I really like his form and he's already making a tiny little baby bubble nest which is so cute. Hello little guy, come up here. I tend to feed them a lot faster but I'm just trying to take my time. I'm just gonna put some food in here for you. Go forth and eat. I should have carted you guys up. There he is. He's eating his food. I'll probably, we'll see how, how he looks and if he looks like he needs more I'll give him more but this will do. And then this girl, she's got all her food. She eats pretty readily. Nom, 
Oh no, I like how she's just floating down. Trying to catch all the food. And then this girl's so patiently waiting, like, I'm, I'm right here. Please, please feed. There you go. You got some bloodworms too. Oh yeah, they'll go for the bloodworms first. That's, you want a bloodworm too? I'll give you a bloodworm. Yeah, that's your favorite. That's your favorite. These girls are kind of bigger, so they'll get more food. Um, they're going to be fed once a day today, so I can kind of go ham and give them more food. Sometimes I'll feed them twice a day. Sometimes I'll feed them once a day. And then there'll be a one day a week where I'll skip. So, next. I got to take out these covers. Just to prevent them from jumping out. And we're going to get some more food. There we go. Just start with this little one. See, they eat a lot easier when they don't see each other. It's less, less distracting. And then this one with another tiny little bubble nest. There you go. There's your food. You also get a worm. You're big enough for a worm. Now the reason also why I'm feeding them so much is also like, look at this one, so little, but I'll eat all that because they're still quite young. So their metabolism are quite fast still. This is a girl, I think. Yeah, it seems like. And then this I think is a male. There you go. This one, I don't know I think this one has the issues with the top line not being straight. And what I'll try to do is make a future video where we can take a closer look at some of these fish and their flaws. These, the top line problem is not, like in my opinion, it's not a cull. It's just a fish that you would sell as a pet fish versus encourage, you know, for breeding. Even though the colors are really pretty. So he, his body is not perfect, but every, for breeding, but He's perfect in his own way for being a fish. I'm just bumping into into this. And we've got this one right here. It's gonna get some food. And then this one's so excited. You're gonna get your food. Num 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 num. And some of them I'll make a second round. Like I'll take a look at them and see how they're looking. And if their tummies are still quite small, you can give them more because Betta's stomachs can actually expand quite a bit. The thing is, you have to be very careful with uh, dry food. So when it comes to pellets and flake, you don't want to feed them too much where their tummy extends. But if it's food like this that passes really easily, this can be okay. So moving on, we'll come back to these guys to see if they want to eat more once they're done. Oh, Banana decided to go and take a nap over there. Oh, Littlefoot's in the basket. The basket where we store our keys and other uncomfortable objects and a mookie. Oh my god, all the animals. All the animals are here. So I guess we'll go on to the... Oh, I can't really see. I have to fold this so I can see what I'm doing. I'll get some of the bloodworms that are bigger and I'll feed some of the bigger fish. Arnold is ready. So he's right here. Will you actually get it out? Focus, camera! Focus! Focus! There we go. And then the female. They'll take, they'll take it themselves if you let them. Like, if, see how it's kind of hanging out? It's like a surf, self-service station. There you go. Arnold, you get more because you're a big boy. Now, if you notice, I'm still not feeding these guys as much as I do with the younger bettas, and because, come here, Samer, oh, you're flaring at me, you're so angry. Older bettas, their metabolism starts to slow down. Right here, the food's right, that's a, that's a snail, that is a snail. Right here, there's your food. So I wouldn't really give them, like, more than this that you see floating down. a lot. Okay. Well, that's still okay. Okay. We got more of the brine shrimp so I can feed these guys. So, this guy will get some food. 
There we go. It's no, it's it, it, it fell. okay. There. And then it's on the bottom. You just gotta go get it. See? If you notice his face very closely, um, he actually has the same marking as Bandit, the male from Life with Pets. That's like, I guess, his uncle. He's like a combination of Arnold and Bandit in one. There's food at the bottom. You'll figure it out. You'll, you'll, you'll think. Just look at the bottom. Uh, he's in here with a filter just because I'm kind of experimenting. In the future, I would like to keep more grow-outs with filters if possible. Okay, now I gotta put this down for a second. And then I'm gonna open these just enough so I can feed. They're all, they're all curious and ready to be fed. So, there you go. You just, there, it's right there. Eat it. There we go. And there's the little one. My camera stopped recording, so. If they have too much food I'll, and they end up not eating it, don't worry, I'll siphon it out. There you go. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. And these guys are probably going to be the fish that are going to be available at Aquashella to buy. Most of these are females. They're metallics, but they can marble, reverse marble and become first cellophanes and then koi, which is kind of cool. So let me take up some more of the covers. And then this girl is my two-faced girl and She's not doing super well, so she's in here just so. And that's my banana worm culture. So she's in here. Let me give you some of the food right here. You get some food here. I guess you get the rest, and let me grab some more. Oh, that's a lot. That's okay. Also, yesterday I fasted these guys, so that was their fast day, so I can feed them more. Yeah, so if you could take a look at this girl, for example, even though her stomach looks pretty round, she could actually eat a little more. Well, that's a worm. I don't want to give them the worm because those are kind of big. You can get the worms, though. I'll feed these guys some more later, but now that I got more brine shrimp, I'll give her more... Like you can give your growing bettas quite a bit of food. Especially if it's frozen. If it's flake or pellet, yeah, be careful. Don't give them too much. But with this stuff, you can go a bit ham. Not ham, but I mean, especially because they were fasted yesterday too, so... They're super hungry, and then tomorrow I'm going to feed them a little less before Aquashella, so... I don't necessarily... Well, this guy definitely can use a lot more food. Hi, come here. You're a big boy. You're a big boy, you can eat a lot. You're a big growing boy. So cute. Let me give you some more. There you go. Very cute. So, whoa! Preview tank. Okay, that was a really quick movement. We're gonna feed Sunny now. He gets fed a little differently because he has to compete with the endlers. So, he'll get, you know, a couple worms. But then, let me get rid of some of the worms. The rest, I'm gonna give the brine shrimp so that the endlers can kind of go for that. And he's gonna find his worms. He'll get find some brine shrimp too, but he'll be on his little quest. There's like one right there that he'll find. And he'll see the maybe he'll see the brine shrimp. Oh, he found another one, so there he goes. He's just eating his little food. And since oh, there was one, that one fell. So yeah, he, he's got his little worms. 
He had four. That's a good amount for him. He's also super active. So I'm not too worried about him eating a lot too because he, he will burn those calories. So thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe because there'll be more better fish related and pet related videos. If you would like to see more of Banana the Border Collie, she has her own channel called Banana the Talking Dog. And I also have a vlog channel which I think I might start updating and that is called Creative Pet Vlogs. So I hope you guys had an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.